Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to your Easy Achievers Gaming Podcast. We have a special episode today. We have a reactions to the incredible Video Game Awards of 2019. Man. As always, sitting across from me is Alex. I'm on fire, man. You on fire? Yes. Oh. <laughs> I forget what that song is. Um, if you don't know us, don't worry. I got you covered. Easy Achievers is a weekly gaming podcast that goes out every friday check us out every friday on any podcast services or youtube give us the like give us the subscription give us the watch time give us the five star rating anything you want anything helps please all of the assistance is required and mandatory if you like it even more than that head over to patreon.com slash easy achievers that gives you a dollar give us a buck helps us out keeps the support going keeps alex and i fed which is most important yep Keeps Mountain Dew in our in our veins, green as Xbox colors. Speaking of Xbox, Alex, we're going straight mm. into this. Really quick, li- really quick. I like how the green veins thing. I don't know why, but you know how um, in the show Supergirl, like how when they hit Kryptonite, of the course. green veins pop up. Of course, that's what it looks like. I wanted to give an image to people. One hundred percent. That All is right. what it looks like. It glows. Yes, it's radioactive. Yep. Don't touch it. Carry on. Xbox announced Man. their new console at the opening of the game out of nowhere it is called xbox series x it looks like a pc tower i'm all about this holiday 2020 of course no speculation on pricing Mm -hmm. no hints at pricing just the keyword uh what is it uh play uh, power power your dreams your dreams yep it seems to be your tagline for this and what dude a tag so like the way it's the uh, let's, uh, let's run down that little trailer people talking right. i don't remember what uh, they say it's a disembodied voice speaking about yeah. dreams okay oh yeah okay immediately as it starts i'm like We're okay thinking, they're announcing the dreams the dreams day. game yeah everything starts has like a gold outline mm-hmm. going through the world mm-hmm. i'm thinking dreams. uh i'm not paying attention yeah. honestly dreams and dreams. it just keeps changing there's water mm-hmm. i'm like death stranding too and then it's a really cool overlay. It yeah. Goes, yeah, you joked Death Stranding 2. Yeah. It's very funny. <laughs> I said Hideo Kojima said, fuck you, I'm coming back. Um, but uh, and then it caught it, my attention when it hits the middle and says, yeah. um, what's the, uh, l- let me, oh, um, this is going to be a surprise. Oh, yeah, it's going to be let's a surprise. Let's go over and let's, uh, oh, let's make our own dreams. Yeah, and it sort of pounds out goes, to this poof. weird a clear thing yeah. and it shows forza uh the, the car it shows yeah well it shows a car because we don't we were assuming a forza we're okay forza. then FIFA? we see uh, yeah Software fifa game, yeah right? we see fifa and then we see Which master they, chief they got my attention before this mm-hmm. i see the cool um let's make a dream yep. together and i'm like okay let me see, look at this because it's, it, it's a cool dream trailer so far yeah and then they start talking this mm-hmm. and then we see Master Chief. I, I immediately, I was like, okay, it's go, an Xbox commercial. It's an Xbox montage? Yeah, that's what I was thinking. That's cool. Yeah. And then we notice it's in a large cube rectangular Yeah, it's form. just like, yeah, it's just like in a little th- weird thing. And then it solidifies into Xbox Series X. It's just a man and i lose my mind. Alex. You're I'm like, no. I no one guessed this, and if honestly, if someone guessed this to me, I would laugh at them. I'm being completely honest. He would have been like, "No way." I would have been like, "Dude, we're not idiots. <laughs> <laughs> we're not. They're not going to announce the system at the game worlds." Well, pie in my face, Alex, because Dude, that's exactly that, what they did. I was not. We do not expect that. Had a lot of information. We basically have the picture of the box. Yep. Which is enough. To get headlines for the next week, dude, and, and of course, this it's not—it's not just the box. You got the controller. Got the controller, new controller. New Looks con- essentially yeah, just the slightly exact different. Same yeah, with an extra button. It is a share button. Yes, similar to on the PlayStation Four. We have a share button. You just hit that button, and on yep. the Switch, you have a share button. You just click it, and yep. I assume you can post it to any social media of your choosing. Yep. And it posts to the screenshot. The pad's a little different. A little different. It looks m- more similar to the Xbox 360 mm-hmm. D-pad, but more elite. Yes. Controller 
which is better. Yeah. If it was the 360 one, I would have so many issues. And then uh, with the last controller, it has like kind of like that little angled design around the ex- the middle Xbox button, yeah. the light up one. Right. This one is it just flat. Looks flat. Yeah, I, don't know, I like it. Looks flat. Yeah. I wonder what the Xbox triggers or the back in, looks in like. In my opinion, have always looked amazing. Oh yeah. How, and for me, has always been the best controller. So yes, this this change is nothing for me. I'm very excited to see more. Mm-hmm. Um, I've. Uh, sent you on a quest, Alex, before we started, was yes. to gather as much information as possible about the Xbox. I'm assuming we have nothing, right? It's literally hasn't told me nothing. Yep, I it's, assumed so. Yeah. I assumed so. All we know is that right after this, he was like, we're going to show you a project that we've been working on. That project was Hellblade 2 Senua's, Senua's Saga, Saga, which this looked was, crazy. This immediately caught my attention. We almost immediately knew it was Hellblade, of course, yes. because of the main characters in it. Yes. And the tone and the vibrancy of everything mm-hmm. happening around her as she's screaming savagely into the camera. Oh, dude, yeah. It's like she's, it looked watch. like she was going to war, so. Yep. yep, and if you don't know Hellblade, it's a kind of Nordic, mm-hmm. godlike hellscape, weird zombie creatures. It's a very, very good game, I feel. Mm-hmm. I love Hellblade One. I need to finish it. I have nothing. You need to keep, uh, put headphones on when you wear. It, oh, for sure. Or when you play. Oh my god, for sure. Yeah. There are whispers. Yeah. And whew, they feel like they are in your head. I don't know who was behind the audio mm-hmm. design in this. I want to shake their hand and figure out what they did because it is incredible to hear that through your earphones. Um, but yeah, that looks great. N- again, not much. Twenty twenty, we assume. Um, he said early in development, so we might not even get it done. Yeah. It might be 2021, 2022. Uh, this is Ninja Theory. Um, they were busy on Hellblade 1, mm-hmm. and then aren't they making um, the multiplayer game? Or is it someone else? What? I feel like Ninja Theory has another project that they're oh. already working on, aren't they? Uh, they I have a look. multiplayer game? I can or check. am I thinking of a different studio? Let's see. Ninja. Oh, I, and I just looked at real quick. Uh, Xbox One X had six teraflops, which is the yes. the the GPU performance. Right. Do we know this one has twelve? So it's double the GPU double the performance power. of the and One X. Me and Alex were talking during the Game Awards. We brought up a thumbnail because you know we were first making the thumbnail for the YouTube video. Mm-hmm. We found most powerful, most uh, or fastest most powerful yes. console is what it said. Ladies and gentlemen, you do not make that statement. In marketing, unless you are a thousand percent sure, that is a known <coughs> fact. Mm-hmm. I'm assuming they already know specs on PS5, and I'm assuming they know what they're working with. So they know for sure they are not being matched on this. Mm-hmm. I remember we had speculations when these were originally announced, saying <coughs> which one was strongest. Xbox was saying that. PlayStation, for about a month, said, no, we're the strongest. And then Phil Spencer, I believe it was either Phil Spencer or head of... Um, uh, head of R and D, I don't remember, but uh, someone was asked, and they were like, "Who's stronger?" And they're like, "There's no doubt it's us." The surety in his voice, I was like, "They must." Oh know. yeah, he. he this he, was months ago. He knew. There was months ago, so they they must have, you know, some sort of analytics, knowing that mm-hmm. what they're working with, and they must know that they are not doing this. And Alex, speculation on pricing. When I saw it, and if you look up what it looks like, it looks like a PC tower. Mm -hmm. I looked over to Alex and said, is this going to be over $500? Because I believe now that it just might be over $500. So what do you think about that statement? I think it's it's just going to be right at five. Right at five? Yeah. I I think I think double the power of an Xbox One well, X. Xbox One X is I being sold like, for around three fifty right now. Mm-hmm. You can find that just about anywhere at three fifty right about now. I feel like they so had a you, statement before mm-hmm. saying that they weren't worrying about the price. They wanted to make sure that everybody this. was able to get it. I mean, I don't I, like I don't know like like they don't they they weren't worrying too much about or they said I forgot what they said. But they said something about like it wasn't gonna be to where the, it wasn't gonna be too expensive to where nobody like people can't afford it. The one, they don't want people bringing out loans, I, I, <laughs> mortgaging pretty, their yeah. houses. They don't want system. they don't want another uh, what was it? Xbox PS two. No PS three. PS three was PS3 it? Which was the seven hundred five fifty nine six ninety nine? Yeah, that yeah. one. Yeah, whatever it was. Yeah, it was. Um, but like I said, insane. 
since that's why a one X is what you said three fifty. You can find some for three fifty. They still are market valued at five hundred. You it is very easy to find a Xbox One X at three fifty right now. So I'm I'm if I had to guess, hmm. market value for the Xbox One X now five hundred. Of course, when it launched right now, on Microsoft's end in their analytics probably says they can sell that for 350 and still make some sort of money Mm -hmm. if we're making that into market value saying that this is maybe 300 bucks or something double the power mm, you can kind of reference okay double the price 600 dollars. this is complete speculation and i'm guessing at every point yes but how much is a slim slim is um 300 valued um you can probably find one for 250 brand new yep i bet you i bet you slim 150 so you're t- pause for a quick okay because that means the or two hundred di- that means the all digital digital vi- uh, version will be a hundred. That, uh, that's what I meant. The all digital is one fifty. The physical okay. one, the regular slim, two hundred. So far, we're talking Black Friday prices because that's how much it sure. was. Sure. Um, or I'm or before this one comes out. Mm-hmm. So let's lower. say the physical one, the regular slim, two hundred, maybe two fifty. The X, three fifty. Series X, 500. I don't disagree. Mm. Now, this brings up a whole other conversation, and we can spend the entire podcast on literally just this one <laughs> announcement. Yeah. Is there going to be some sort of cross integration with all of the systems? And can I still pick up my Xbox One S in two years mm-hmm. after the system's out and still play games that are actively playing on the X? How I viable are I my thought they past said systems? that everybody can, every, everything is connected. It just said you're, the only thing I doubt about I that is the just... original Xbox One. There's no way that that original one <sighs> that has barely a teraflop in it mm. can power anything that can run on a One X that's pushing twelve. I mean, I can. I think what well, we're getting uh, is mean, because Series X, we're getting X is current gen. Mm-hmm. They're gonna bring X with them. I think S will stick around for another two or three years, mm-hmm. and then that's getting kicked. And then we're sticking with X and Series X. Well, by for about four to five years. By the time Series X will be the, the thing, and everybody has it, I feel like this everybody who had an original Xbox will have a Slim. I can agree with that. If, like, for at least the people who matter, and I don't mean that as an insult. I mean like the people, people who are actually, actually wanting to wanting buy to it. do that. Yeah, yes. to stay up to price. Yeah, no, like like my little brother no. still has my original Xbox right. One Black. But he mostly he plays most PlayStation, likely, of course, right? Huh? Does he doesn't he play mostly PlayStation or PC? No, 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 no. Uh, no, he uh he he he'll play he plays he plays his Xbox. Xbox. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. Um, but he does want a slim because he does want to upgrade it, so he he's gonna get a slim eventually okay. one day. I don't know when that would be. Right, of course. Um. Um. What's it called? Um. But I feel like I, I, that like the original one will be just slowly. Not obsolete, but you know, slowly passing out, away, moving away. I feel like it's already is. Yeah. I feel like it's already. Yeah, I, I mean, like they had the all, they had, you can get the all digital slim. If you have, I mean, most of your stuff is digital. One fifty for people. Yeah, that is a yeah, yeah, that's that a is steal. enticing. That is enticing for a lot of people. I know a lot of people who wanted that. Yeah, because they don't care that it doesn't have disc in it. They care that it says one fifty on the price sticker. Mm-hmm. That's all they care about. And they don't they mind just gotta that be they careful that they know what they're buying. Most people don't, but most mm-hmm. people. When they buy it, say it's going to be a big deal, and then realize it's not really a big deal. Right, because you can just buy it digitally, and then yeah. you buy a currency. You do end up spending a little bit more, because usually digi- uh, physical is a little bit cheaper on sales. Yeah. Usually. Not always, of course, but usually. It is a little bit cheaper, 2 to $3 um, on uh, on physical. Uh, but digital tend to be a little more expensive, but most people will suck it up to save that 150 at first. Yeah. And... Back to the original pricing, you said I'm not over 500, and I tend to agree with you, not being over 500. Mm-hmm. I just can't wrap my head around this thing not being 600 to 700. The most I can see this doing is 550. 559. I, I agree. 550 is as high as I can imagine. That's the but highest again, I can see that. But again, I can't wrap my head around 12 flops because being we're also not. That much money. We're also forgetting XCloud. XCloud is most likely going to be a service. That's tied to Game Pass, I think. You think so? I think there's going to be an ultimate that ties in Project XCloud. Hmm. Because we're getting to the point where 
they might have a problem with how many services you're actually paying for. Mm -hmm. And we're already paying $15 a month for Ultimate. I can maybe seeing them upping that to 20, 20 to and include you get Project X-Cloud. X-Cloud. Maybe I am being too entitled and saying that it should be free with Game Pass. But what an incentive to buy an Xbox if yeah. that is included in Game Pass Ultimate with already covered. Now we, now we do know, and of course Project X Cloud's in beta. You've been trying it out. We do mm-hmm. know soon they're going to include Game Pass games and then soon they're going to include all games. Yeah. Well, because right now on X Cloud there's a... Uh, about 20? 50. No, 50. That's right. There's That's 50. what it used There's to be. There's a bunch of games on there. 50. And uh, I, like, I, when I was playing it, I mean, it runs smooth. It's just um, there is a, like maybe like a there, second or half a second latency. Right. Like it, it's not as quick as it is. But and it's still. Go ahead to quick denote. We are working on a phone. Yes. Yeah, I'm I'm using. And you are not optimizing in any way, right? You're not mm-mm. clicking anything off. You're not nope. closing down systems. You're just. Nope. I literally it. grabbed my Sea of Thieves Bluetooth controller, mm-hmm. Bluetoothed it to my Google Pixel 2 mm-hmm. XL. Mm-hmm. Gra- I had the little clip my wife got me for mm-hmm. the phone. Mm-hmm. Started it. And, it, I mean, it depends on your Wi-Fi connection or your uh, internet connection, like LTE or whatever you have. And it all depends. And Because, uh, I, I mean, if I tried using my LTE on certain areas, mm-hmm. um, didn't, it ran eh. Mm-hmm. But uh, it depends on where I am. Right. And then I try to hear with the Wi-Fi, and it, it ran pretty good. And then sometimes, you know, it has, it has its peaks, and it'll go up and down. Mm. But it does run smooth, and it actually does look really good, surprisingly, on the phone. Cause I played, Yeah, because I tried Halo 5. Of course, the latency mess, mess, messes up a little bit. Um, I tried Forza. I went to start Ace. Um combat but I, I didn't get to it mm-hmm. and then i tried to see a thieves mm-hmm. um but all they all ran really well mm-hmm. this seems perfect for see if the destiny yeah where you there's casual parts to where you don't really have to be up on top of course you don't want to play pvp or anything like no that yeah, yeah. But i don't think I that's tried. where we're at yet and that, <laughs> you seem to know that from experience mm-hmm. yeah i tried playing call of duty mm-hmm. pvp mm-hmm. and with that half latency man mm-hmm. and i couldn't I even get one kill i was like oh, god so, yeah, you can't you can't react fast enough. no um but yeah that that's that that's series x um last thing to end on phil spencer did announce about a few days ago that the xbox name mm-hmm. will detail what the system does yeah what do you think series x means so obviously when you say series there's multiple intended iterations so, so are we getting i feel like we are because like remember they said uh not including x cloud there were supposed to be two systems uh scarlet and an anaconda was it yes yeah so I'm so I'm wondering if they're making. Oh wait, um, didn't they recode name that? Isn't it one of the old one? I think it's. I don't now, know. I don't remember. Uh, it's, uh, we're not worried about it. Anaconda. Okay, let's yeah. just go with Anaconda, but okay. I, I believe there's a yeah. Different name there was Scarlet, before. and then when that, whatever that one is. Mm-hmm. Uh, I feel like yeah, this is Series X, and instead, let's say the next one, it could be a, a, a maybe a smaller version or series not S. A, S, yeah, Series S. Mm-hmm. Uh, because um, this I've, is a slam or I've something. I've been speculating, and I tweeted this out a, about a week ago. I 100% believe that we, when they get xCloud rolling, mm-hmm. we are going to get a Chromecast-like Xbox system mm-hmm. that is 150 maybe $200, plugs up into your TV, and you can stream games on it. I don't feel like it'll be that much. 100 Even bucks. Even cheaper, wow. Yeah. I mean, I, I, I want to say 100 but then I... I think about. I mean, how much you have to think about it. It's also competing it, with Stadia and all that other stuff. Are they? Because when we got XO19, mm-hmm. he was very clear with, "We are not trying to take over your screens. Mm-hmm. We're not trying to do this." Basically, saying to Stadia, "We saw your marketing, yeah, and we do not agree with what you're doing. So we want to go with our own route. We want to, uh, we want to yeah. take this slow, and we want to learn while we're essentially." selling in quotes they're not really selling you there's a beta mm. um but you're following along with everyone as everyone learns together because i do feel like there is a learning experience even at xbox while they're doing this beta mm. that there's a slow curve to learning and even look at the reception publicly uh with xcloud everyone glowing xcloud mm-hmm. glowing this great article here stadium 
Awful. I haven't Awful. I haven't heard anybody about talking about it. And when you do, it's negative. Mm-hmm. Because Stadia came out, founders is the word they used. Mm-hmm. Not early access, not beta, yeah, not alpha. Yeah, that's, that's what's they crazy. They're saying this is a full service now. That, yeah, no, they you can't say mm, that yet. No, that is not. They should have done what I like. Sign state. up for the like a uh, beta. This is a beta. Even, maybe even put a public beta with just Destiny. And you know maybe. what? Just like this, the free Destiny. That's it. And no that's, expansions. And no that's nothing. Google. Yeah. Because I know that's what Mister. I forget the med gentleman's name that runs basically the gaming. Uh, is head of gaming oh, over there. Uh, um, but that gentleman, I'm sure. I like Walked up to Google and said, "Hey, I need to I need to run this as a beta. I cannot say this is full." And Google said, "We are not having people pay for a beta. There was some sort of maybe miscommunication, and Google said, "We are not naming this a beta. This is mm. this cannot be named as a beta. We don't do betas or you know whatever." Mm. But uh, I think Jade Raymond, I believe so. Yep. That sounds familiar, Jade Raymond. Um, but yeah. Um, any final thoughts on uh, Xbox? Uh, I'm just, dude. I'm excited. Excited. Uh, that trailer. What does this mean for PS5? What does this mean? When will we get that? Maybe February, of course, because they're we're not get we're, they're they're right on the heels. They mm-hmm. they know they announced it. We're gonna get an event soon, February, March. Then we're probably get, When we're gonna get Xbox's event soon after, maybe before. Mm-hmm. Full details, pricing, pre-ordering, all this. Mm-hmm. We'll probably get a little launch lineup. We know Halo. Oh yeah, PS Five. Halo you know, is Horizon. definitely a launch title. They've already said that. At this point, it's an open secret. Horizon Two is the launch title for PS Five. If mm. not, launch window. I think we'll get another. Uh, we'll get a Forza this year for uh, for I believe Scarlet. So. That's what they or always do to Series X to show off. Um, I'm always gonna call it Scarlet now because but Scorpio. Yeah. I've, I still took, call the X Scorpio. Scorpio. Yeah, Scorpio. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So I'm um, just gonna keep saying Scarlet. But yeah, w- again, we can spend a whole podcast yeah. just talking about Xbox. Um, on your question earlier about Ninja Theory doing yes. a multiplayer game, it was Bleeding Edge. Thank you. It's the it's pretty much like a melee combat based Overwatch. Overwatch. Yep. Yes, I remember this. Yep. Um, it looks cool. It says in um, March 2020. I'm, but be I'm honest, not sure if that's right. I want Hellblade. I want single players from Ninja Theory. Yes. I want Ninja Guidance. I do not want. Razor's Edge. Now that is me saying with no hands on, mm-hmm. nothing going off a trailer and concept art we got. Mm-hmm. I'm just not excited by that. Speaking of single players, there was a lot of single player content today for most a lot of, for a certain multiplayer game. It was game. League of Legends. Yes, had two plus games in a single conference. I think is very interesting that they they chose that mm-hmm. because I feel like you run into a an issue with another one. Mm-hmm. You know. Magic the Gathering, for instance, um, we saw that five times, I believe. I, I, I mean, I'm not, I'm not gonna lie to you. I feel like Game Awards is sponsored by Magic, pretty much. That's what it felt like a little bit. <sighs> and you know what? Go get them. Yeah, no, you, you yeah. need the money. You need the ad space. You have the ad space. Magic yep. probably beep beep. Yep, beep. come bring it, come and then. <laughs> the money falling out of that dump truck that gave yep. to Mr. Um, Jeff Keeley. Um, and you know what? If it's not magic, it probably would be something else. Because, mm-hmm. you know, probably head of PR, head of magic said, we need to be on Game Awards. And they were like, make five commercials for it. Mm-hmm. And you know what? If you like magic, you probably liked that stuff. Oh, if, yeah. I'm sure. we just, we don't. Yeah, no. We it, don't care about it. Um, um, but you know what? I like where this is going. Where, where were you saying? Oh, no. I was just saying with the single player League of Legends thing. I mean, I used to play League of Legends a lot. Mm-hmm. And I've always wanted. I'd be like, oh, I wish that, you know, some of these characters had the story arc to where I can play or whatever. Because um, I had a character I like playing a lot. And I wanted to know more about their background and things like that. Like this, I enjoy that they're adding to be like with MMORPGs or these. this is a MOBA. But they were like, oh, there's a story for this character if you want to try it out. I'm like, heck, yeah. And that's so cool that they're licensing out their IP to mm-hmm. other studios. They don't own some of these studios. No, they're really. licensing out to to separate like, developers hey. that have nothing to do with them. They are splitting funds, of course. They are paying the developers to make the game, license them out probably for some sort of fee, and then back end royalties. Mm-hmm. And that's exciting. Yeah. I want to see more of this. To so go to that studio and be like, hey, I'm glad that Riot Game Games first? noticed. We don't have the resources to make the games we want. Yeah. We want to expand League outside of MOBA. Right. Yep. So they go to the studios and pitch, and I'm sure they got plenty of people to make. I think I, I think they're, what, isn't that up to five or six games now for League games? For League. I know there's Possibly. a shooter. 
I know there was two games announced in like one day. I can't and then remember. I and then we got two more today. So mm-hmm. at least four. Yeah. Very minimum four. Yeah. And mm-hmm. I mean and if people don't play let's say people don't play League because they're like, Oh, it's a MOBA, I'm not into that type of stuff. If they try these single player campaigns 100%. or thing, Me? they'll see the stories and be like, "Oh, this is, looks cool. I wonder what actually Mo- the MOBA is like." Same thing try for it. me. Yeah, try the I MOBA. have zero interest yeah. in League of Legends. Zero. Tried yeah. it once, not for me. Yeah. S- those two games looked very enticing for yeah. me. Single so player. So now you can get in that play, world. So I want to try it. Maybe I get attached to World similar to World of Warcraft yeah. when I was playing Hearthstone. Yeah. You I did not getting... play World of Warcraft. No, no. I had never even started played, the game. You, but you play the heck out of Hearthstone. And I love the lore in that. And I yep. wish, I was talking to you, I wish WoW would do the same thing. I wish, With single player. I, hope this, I hope this becomes a theme in gaming, not even just in MOBAs, but in gaming generally. Anything, yeah. Why doesn't, um, for instance, EA give mm-hmm. Mass Effect, uh, and of course, so we'll never, oh, I'm no, just yeah, saying yeah, as an example, Mass Effect 2, anyone and like see, like, can like naughty dog or something yeah just and yeah, fine. of course and right. like yeah. like because they're good they're great storytellers it'd be like hey take an arc from this world mm-hmm. and create something have some uh, and, fun. And, and let us know what you what, what you came up with just fun things like that yeah like just, just and my dad i had a motto um and he would say things for something some money is better than no money mm-hmm. right so if you can get some money yeah it's better than not having the money in the first place and he would always bring this up when he would see corporations not acting well or things like that not liking each other mm-hmm. and of course we are speaking in this omnipotent position where we're assuming the game is going to be good because of course the game could be terrible when they partner up with another mm-hmm. developer of course but i think I think we should get in more of a headspace of publishers can work with outside developers. Yeah. And that'd be fine. I mean, and, and it invites creativity more and creativity, it's, learning I mean, different ideas. Cause I mean, let's say they create something. It's not the best thing. They, they learn from that mm-hmm. or somebody else learns from that. Be like, Hey, we saw this. We can probably make it better or we can, uh, you know, Co- uh, co- uh, Cooperate. Yeah, we learned an engine co- together. Yeah, and, and which like we will make something great. Mm-hmm. Backbones of other things. I'm sure there's yeah. plenty of games that are made on failures yeah. of other they'll, games. Yeah, right? they'll be like, hey, we saw this didn't do so good, but we want to try something that's mm-hmm. you know to similar to that. Can we do that? They'll be like, yeah, sure, go ahead, try your best. Let's do it. There Let's you go. Do it. You're paying for it. So. Yeah. Great, great conversation so far. I'm loving this episode. Mm-hmm. Um, let's get back to the course show. And let's go down the list. Um, we start the show off with a pre-show. Mm-hmm. Um, and for me, I love this part of the show. Because mm-hmm. we get some Marvel Ultimate Alliance 3 action going. Oh, I see. I've seen that. Yes, baby. That's what I'm here for, and that's what I want. Um, DLC announced Cable, Gambit. Mm-hmm. Your man? Jean Grey. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Iceman. And I believe I missed somebody. Um, so you've seen how there was no X-Men whatsoever, and now they're bringing them. There was two, four. Well... Um, yeah, because... Four. Psylocke, Storm, Wolverine, mm-hmm. and someone else I don't remember right now. But um, Gambit is my boy. Mm-hmm. I was hoping for Rogue because um, yep. it's me and my girlfriend's kind of thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. But uh, uh, it, Gambit, come on. That's oh, exciting. Yeah. That is so exciting. I can't remember. Um, Did they add Carnage didn't... yet? No. No, okay. That's what I'm waiting for. No, no, no. Um, they added... Um, I need to get on there to download all this, um, but they hinted at M- uh, Morpheus at the end. Oh, yeah. yeah. Uh, Morbius? Morbius. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, they're making a um, movie off that. And then we get the um, Alex-approved game Maneater. Oh, man. Coming out May 22nd. I've, if, uh, this is the RPG where you play as a shark. We talked about this yeah. in one of the first episodes yep. Yep. of Easy when we, Yeah, when we talked about it, if you guys are still here from the beginning, mm-hmm. talked about Maneater. About the, and they, it got a showcase. Yeah. That was really cool for them. Um, I mean, they're a small indie game. So yeah. that looked really cool, and the game looks awesome. It's by uh, Tripwire. Um, funny that uh, that happened. You're wearing your Shark Week shirt right now. And uh, Maneater came in. I yeah. didn't even. I just realized that. That's, yeah, that's that funny. was that looked really cool. But yeah, it's coming to Xbox, PlayStation. That's exciting. Yeah, because it does look like a PC game that I would never be able to play. Yeah, now, but now consoles. Xbox. Oh, perfect. And I think it's uh, when is it? March? No, May. No, it was May twenty second. second. Yeah, I got it right here. Yep, May twenty second. I'm excited. Yep. And they they went to each shark. They all look cool. Oh um, yes, humankind is the next thing. Looks a lot like Civ. Oh yes, yeah. that's um, yeah. That's all you, but looks good it looks too much like civ if i'm being honest i don't know if i just have strategy game 
and that's just what they're supposed to look like. But I look at. I them think like, so because Tropica look so Tropico looks like, like that too. I guess, but it just looks so like almost much exactly like, like almost like if like I glanced and saw I mean, that like, trailer, we're like, oh, what's Civ announcing? I mean, just think about it: skate and other session. Looks true, exactly the same. True, and you know they could be inspired by a game too. I, yeah, know, it's not the first time they've done that. But intriguing. All we got was twenty twenty. I'll see more as, mm-hmm. as it comes out. Yeah. Um. This, I'll be honest, got kind of confused at. Goddamn superhero. Oh, uh, dude. And then goes into no more heroes twenty twenty. I'm pretty sure goddamn superhero isn't real. I tried looking up earlier and nothing popped up. I'm, I'm try pretty it again. sure it's not real. It was just like a spoof of no more heroes because no more heroes. Um, is the kind of Deadpool game where the guy's aware that mm-hmm. he's in a video game. So he's constantly making meta jokes um, about his health bar and his super gauge and things like that. Oh, I gotcha. So I think that was just a meta thing they were just yeah, making yeah. fun of. Um, we just got 2020 with that one, um, which looks really cool. Um, and then we get a Final Fantasy VII remake trailer. Looks mm-hmm. good. Um, not much to say there. March 3rd. Um, yeah. Looks cool, but... Um, and then we get an incredible montage to start off the show. This was the opening. Um, and I just love, I love the montage. Mm. It's so good. It was just basically all the games that came out this year just looked fantastic. Mm. And then we get into the Xbox Series X. They go over that. Phil Spencer comes out and says we're making the most powerful. Not Xbox expecting that so early in the show. Nope. This took us for the loop. I screamed yeah. <laughs> very loudly. And then, of course, we go into Ninja Theory with Senua Saga. And then we get Mortal Kombat. We get kind of like a, oh, it's on sale now. And then we get a, a glimpse at the Joker DLC. Yep. And then we get Harley Quinn's costume. But she's Harley Quinn, but she's not a full uh, she's character. She's a Cassie Cage, yeah, but Cassie. it's a Harley Quinn costume for yeah, her. It's a Harley Quinn costume, but she's still Harley Quinn. Yeah. Cause she talks like her, but she's just using Cassie's move because they didn't want to make a whole new character, yeah. I assume. Um, looks cool. I'm excited. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> Asgard Wrath. There was a trailer for that. Looks cool. Mm. Um, I, it looks like one of those games where I'm like, looks cool. I probably would never actually play it. Yeah. But it looks cool. Um, 2020. And then we get Control. Announces Expeditions. Yep. Free. Available, available now. now. Yep. As of today, you can go download it right now. Looks, eh? I, I don't know. It's a it's a more of a challenge thing. Think of as... Almost like a time trial? Kind of, yeah. So you remember in Batman games when you mm-hmm. have those uh, challenges, Challenge the Man. AR challenges type of thing? Yeah. I feel like it's just like that. I gotcha. It looks kind of cool. I was actually hoping it was DLC information, yeah. and we got no DLC. We just got a hint at Foundation mm-hmm. March 26th is when yeah. it comes out. So I was hoping for a little uh, sooner, if I'm being yeah. honest. But that's I just hope that uh, those challenges things doesn't add... Uh, achievements that i can't get because i have oh. a, I, I got the thousand you got the thousand so you don't want to miss anything. yeah i don't want to miss anything now i assume we won't get any dlc until the or new achievements until the dlc like yeah. the actual paid one um and if we do at least may, don't make them hard so godfall i want to try that looks awesome. that looks cool at first we thought it was like dark siders but then yeah. we were like this isn't dark side no because there was a way different art style and their suits were way different but they looked so cool mm-hmm. um and then they came out straight out this is a PS5 game. Yeah. Holiday 2020. That's Which was the saying. only one that I saw that said PS5. Um, I think they got a special kind of okay. heads up from PlayStation. Sure. Like, you need to say you're a PS5 okay. game. It's just crazy that that and was that's the just only my, one. That's just my tinfoil hat, yeah. if I'm being honest. That could not have happened, but I... I think that was kind of a response to the Xbox to the thing. Xbox thing. They yeah. probably found out that was going to happen, and they went to Godfall, which is probably a, a close with them, and they're like, hey, you're going to say that they're on PS5 now because yep. we have to at least remind people we exist while the new Xbox is now. And I assume that's just a PS5 exclusive um, from what it looks like. It's just, it just says PS5, maybe, so I'm assuming. Maybe. Um, I If I had to guess, it was a PlayStation... Um, not exclusive, but limited. One? No, you know how Batman is, where uh, plays best on PlayStation. Oh, things like that. I gotcha. I think it's more of that a situation. I could be wrong. Of course, this is again speculation. Um, and then we move on to Bravely Default Two, which was a weird way of, of showing off that game. Mm-hmm. Um, very confusing, like art style transitions, because they yeah. just kept saying it was Octopath because it looks so Got much it, like yeah. Octopath. I thought it was beginning. Octopath too. And then it changed, and I was like, "This is Bravely Default." And then I saw the characters, and I was like, "This is Bravely yeah. Default." Now they called it Bravely Default Two, two. which is very weird because we had Bravely Second. Second, yeah. So I don't... they just, hey man, well, okay, leave it now, to square, all right? Bravely. 
I don't know if you know at all with these games. I don't. I do a little. Bravely Default. Yes. Does is Bravely Second a sequel, prequel, or anything Se- at all? It's a sequel, direct sequel. Don't quote me on direct. I don't know if it's okay. direct. I didn't play now, a lot of them. This one is. Uh, we would, uh, do we know if it is a sequel or not? Doesn't look like they went into it at all. Okay. Um, but it looks like uh, um, because it's supposed to harken back at very original Final Fantasy games, like mm. very original yeah. turn based. So, um, that it looks like the look they're going for and the feel they're going for. Um, I don't think it's my type of game, but we'll see when it comes out. It's going on Switch, I believe. Yep, but um, it, it's actually available now on PC, isn't it? No, that was the Warframe thing, I'm pretty sure. I don't think Bravely Default's available yet. Okay. Because I think that it just got announced. Oh, okay. Warframe was the gotcha. thing that that's was like, the, oh, we're available Yeah, now. that was a quick re- That's uh, the very next thing where they immediately go to Warframe, Yeah. talk about an update. They talked about Warframe stuff, and honestly, me and Alex were having fun. I didn't pay attention to this part, so yeah, I'm sorry. Yeah, we were still talking about Xbox. Yeah, yeah, and we were freaking out. Um, yeah. So I don't have information about the update, but there is an update that went live today. Uh, Magic the Gathering. Um, I think that was just an ad because I didn't see what they announced. So I think it was just an ad for just Magic the Gathering. Mm-hmm. Um, and then we get to the player unknown game, the single player player unknown game. The people who make PUBG. Oh yeah. Um, Very strange. We get the literally the raining, a person looking back and forth. Yep. And then nothing. Yeah. I Very to, uh, strange. Maybe to more excite people that player unknown is making a single player game. Rather than, of course, PUBG. Mm-hmm. I can't be. I'm. Hmm, how do I word this? I'm not not excited for it, but also like, I feel like we needed just a little bit more. No, yeah, I mean because I, that could have been a clip from anything. Yeah, because they didn't really honest. do anything else. Um, maybe we missed something. Maybe I need to rewatch it. But I saw no indication. Because all it what said type was game all it was said was a uh, prologue, didn't it? Didn't it? I think that's what it's called. It's called a uh, player unknown announces prologue. That, that's that's oh, what it's that's called. The name. Yeah, the name is prologue. Okay. Uh, Interesting. Uh, yeah, uh, I'm on uh, the coalition. Oh, the coalition. Actually. Yep. And uh, let's see. Yeah, player announces prologue during the Game Awards 2019. Cool. Yep. So that's what the name of it. Okay. Okay. So um, this is written by Richard Bailey Jr. on uh mm-hmm. the Coalition. Mm-hmm. It says a uh, prologue is an exploration into new technologies and gameplay. Our aim in the game is to give players a new, unique and memorable, memorable, memorable experiences each and every time they play. So does that mean that it changes? I guess. I don't know. That's one of those games we'll find out later. I guess. I guess. But so. it sounds exciting. Yeah. Um, we get into Fortnite. Um, we get the Thai Whisper event. Um, mm-hmm. This is going to be during the Star Wars event at Febu- um, <clears throat> sorry December 14th at 2 p.m. Eastern. Um, so if you basically log on, I believe, at 2 p.m. or you know a yep. little bit before. It's, you got to go to Risky Reels. If you go to Risky Reels, you'll see an exclusive clip of Star Wars, and you will get the whisper from there. I'm going to try to – I'm going to – yeah. I'm gonna do try have to a too. wedding this weekend, so. I got to be at work at 3, so <laughs> I have an hour to do this. Yeah, I, hopefully, hopefully I won't be in the ceremony. Um, yeah. but I have my phone, so I might just just text me and be like, "Hey, can you do this for me real quick?" <laughs> yeah, do that too. Like, hey, sign me in or something. Yeah, I'll do it on my phone. Um, but yeah, look, more Fortnite, right? Yeah, no. Oh, and they announced um, Finn, Ray, and, and Sith Trooper. Yep, with a bunch of cosmetics yeah, is now like, out in the store. Yeah, it looks like there's like a Tie Fighter or something. Like, you I can like, you ride a Tie Fighter. You can um, use Ray's staff okay. uh, as a pickaxe, I think. Or hoping, it might just be a backpack. I was hoping it might take me. Um, but do you remember the nunchuck nightstick looking thing from Force Awakens? Oh, the electrical yes. thing? that the that is a pickaxe in it. Oh, really? Yeah, and okay. I think her staff is just that, a backpack. That one trooper that was going yeah. against Finn, yes. he's like, traitor! Traitor! Yeah, and he pulls it out. <laughs> yeah. yeah. He looked silly. Um, but yeah, that was that. Mm-hmm. Sons of the Forest. This looks weird. weird. So this I, is where the lady was dancing, and she like kind of like dry humping the arm. Oh yeah, she was dry humping the, the air. rock, and then the yeah. air, and then her arms started like three like, arms. It became four actually, and then four. Yeah, and then she got another leg, and then she just started dancing. It's out. it's weird because uh, <laughs> this because this is supposed to be a like sequel a to this is supposed to be a sequel to the forest. The forest is an survival open. Game? Yeah, it's an open survival game. It's just like and. Um, 
I mean, it's just a more realistic version of, uh, I mean, God. Uh, Isn't it hearkening back to the kind of Slender Man days? Eh, kind of. Like uh, well, course, there was that. There was, I mean, um, uh, what was the other game? Uh, Seven Days to Die. Yeah. It's like, that's a survival game. Uh-huh. Like, yeah. It's like at nighttime, it actually becomes harder and things like that. You got to, yeah, it's like, I've, I've wanted to play the forest. It, I heard it's good. But uh, I've never got a chance to, and this apparently, it, this looks like a sequel. We get our first League of Legends single-player game here, Ruined King. Mm-hmm. Um, I'll be honest, the trailers are bleeding it together a little bit, so I don't remember what this one looked like. But I'm pretty sure this is the one where they had that big sword. What was it called again? Ruined King. Um, and of course, again, League of Legends single-player game. I did not get developers on this either. I'm very curious Check who's making these games. Yeah. Well, he's checking that out. I'll gloss over the next one because, again, oh, uh, it, the Ruined King is that the one where um, the tower explodes and he reverts time? There we go. There we go. Yep, that's that one. Yeah, so that's the one with the time working. It kind of looks like uh, he has a big hairstyle, so it looked really cool. But it yeah, yeah, it like, has like um, the Prince of Persia mm-hmm. type of powers. Um, looks cool. Yeah, again. This, this one is uh, 2020. Should be 2020. I didn't get a date though. I'm checking for you. Okay. Um, cool. Might not have a date. It's, you said it was called. Oh no, I'm sorry. The other, the, the they blended it all together. Is it Convergence? A legal, a legal legend story is the the time warp one. Yeah, that's the that's the second one. Yeah, uh, I don't know why. I hit. I literally hit <laughs> the Ruined King, and it went to this. It that's was awesome. weird. That's awesome. Yeah, but uh, yeah, Ruined King. Pretty sure that one with big swords or whatever. I gotcha. Dungeons and Dragons Dark Alliance. Um, this got me excited because it sounds like Boulder's Gate Dark Alliance, which was an awesome game on the PS2. Um, hopefully it's just that. <laughs> I'll be honest. Hopefully it's just that. I don't know. I didn't get any concept of what the game actually was from the trailer. It mm-hmm. just looked like a cool CG fest. Um, fall 2020 is, is that date. And then Apex had a fun little bit that, uh, with Ma- Mirage, Mirage came and out. Jeff Keighley were talking. Yeah, they were talking, having fun, joking yeah, around. And then cool. they announced that Christmas event. Everyone gets a fun Christmas skin. Um, it looks like the map is snowing. Um, there's lights everywhere and reefs. That looks really cool. Um, very exciting. Mm-hmm. I, I love when people do events like this. And uh, this is no different. Love it. Um, and then we go into Ori and the Will of the Wisps, March 3rd, 2020. Very exciting for this. Um, this looks phenomenal, especially on the backs of the first game, looking so visually stunning. This one, upping the ante, I think, in every way with how visually um, impressive Ac- Ori actually looks like. And when it's jumping and doing his moves and zipping around the thing, it is sad it did get pushed. I believe it was originally mm-hmm. February, and now it's March 3rd. Um, it's very disheartening to hear because we've been waiting so long for this game. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> but take all the time you need to make this game great, yeah. right? Um, I found some information for the ruined king. king yeah, uh, for like uh, like story wise. Okay. Uh, where it says first, uh, it says ruined king of League of Legends stories, an upcoming single player title set in the legal le- league universe. It's a uh, development from Airship Syndicate, which is the one that did Darksiders Genesis. That's why we thought. That's it why we so th- much yeah. like it. Um, the trailer revealed. Let's see. It's a pirates region. And it's set after the events of Burning Tides. So if anybody knows that, of course, Burning Tide. <laughs> players will Who take control. Forget? Players will take control of League of, Le- League of Legends champions and explore the bustling city of Bilgewater and the mysterious Shadow Isles in the game for the first time. So it's uh, you actually make up words. Stop making fun of games. <laughs> featuring fan favorite champions, it says innovative turn-based combat. So yeah, it's it's turn-based. So that's cool. I'm so excited for League of Legends because again, it's so different. I mean, it's interesting. That's just I was not expecting you turn based to come out of your mouth right there, but there you go. You said it. Yeah. <laughs> very cool. Very cool. Again, super excited for them. Yeah. We get a very interesting game that caught my girlfriend's attention. Weird West. Oh yeah, that. This one. was the kind of strange, uh, top down. isometric. I believe it's called just top down, looking mm-hmm. down on them, um, where you're in the Wild West killing zombies or kind of weird beings weird there it is and then he's smacking stuff with a stick i think we didn't get (laughs) too much gameplay it was like a kind of like a cinematic more than anything looks really cool i'm interested um i 
do I'll be honest hate when we just get an announcement yeah and no year window or anything like that they just say hey this game exists because i tend to forget and not even pay attention when the game actually comes out mm. um so let's hope that something along the lines happens with that they come back and remind us when it actually has something to say but it looks cool i'm excited for it It looks like a for some reason it reminds me of a switch game mm. right but uh, i want to play it on my xbox of course. it's from former dishonored devs wolfi studios oh and prey right i think it's prey uh, and Dishonored. It, it was in the trailer okay um it was prey and dishonored people because i think they both worked on the same games yeah, um, it says it's, it's, just, cool. it's the first game from the former members of Arcane Studios. Yep, and they made Prey and yep. It's an action RPG experience set within Surreal Visions of Developing Frontier. But no, yeah, it did look cool. It does look very cool. Yeah. Then we go on to Magic Legends. Another thing where, what is this? <laughs> More magic. It doesn't tell us anything. I, I've, again, I hate the trailers that... I come out more questions than answers and not in a good way. Where it's yeah. like, what is the game? Like, it showed us, I think, a dragon and then someone yelling. And then it ended. Maybe. And then it said, sign up for the beta. And I, eh, if you want, go sign up for the beta. I didn't even see that. I think I had, mm-hmm. uh, when it said magic, I was like, it's just not my thing. So I, I thought it was an ad. And then yeah. it was announcing something. I was something. just waiting for the next like, thing. when you announce that first so you don't bar anyone with it? I don't know. Yeah, uh, I'm not a PR guy, I guess. Um, and then we get. The Ghost of Tsushima trailer that was teased in the um, yeah. State of Play that uh, Tuesday yeah. that we did, Alex. Um, looks very good. Mm-hmm. Um, I did miss most of the trailer, if I'm being honest, because of the orchestra. Oh, um, I got I'm you. not complaining because the orchestra sounds phenomenal. We didn't even go over that. Yeah. Um, they have this incredible oh, they always orchestra have such going great orchestra. over this entire show, and it looks sounds incredible. They are so good. So good. Mm-hmm. Music performance was really good. Churches opened, I believe. And it just looks, sounds so cool. Um, I didn't see most of the trailer, so when I get home, I'm actually going to play it again just so I can see like mm-hmm. what's going on. Again, it looks like a montage. Of the From game. what I saw, I mean, to at least I, to me, I didn't understand. Open world with camps, oh, no. maybe. Oh, no, yeah. It, there, my on? thing is uh, how open world it is. It's not sandboxy, well, I don't think. I think it's more open. I think it is sandboxy. You in think? a similar sense to Horizon. Well, that's more open world. I'm um, sandboxy. I mean, like God of War. It has like kind of linear aspects, but it's more. It's still sandbox. I guess I'd have to agree. Open yeah. world yeah. is Horizon. Be more Horizon. So I think it's too. either in the middle or more on the Horizon side. You have a horse, so I, that makes me. Think, yeah, that's okay, why I'm traveling at least a yeah. distance. And I mean, it looks and like then, you know when in, an open there is was, camps. When he was in the camp, yeah, I assume we're taking over camps and doing yep. something. Kind of like the Far Cry way, you and know, you go to camps s- to take over it. And then there was stealth takedowns, and there was grass you could hide in, so obviously you're yeah. stealth killing things. So I'm assuming all that's tied in with yeah. the camp um, system and the map and all that stuff. And they'll explain. I'm, I'm sure maybe he's more of a, I don't know if he's a really really a ghost or just that. It's more no, metaphorically it's speaking, metaphor. like, cause he's like because he's like because he was meant to die because we saw him. Yeah, he got twice. he got shot twice with an arrow. So he everybody probably thinks he's dead, or he was supposed to. And but he looked like he was reaching for his sword. So maybe there's something to do with his sword. Um. Well, as a samurai, if something happens to your sword, no, you are yeah. dishonored. Yeah. So you should you need to either kill yourself or mm. uh, commit simpiku or uh, leave and mm. never show your face yep. again. So. I'm assuming that's, I mean, he had to get a sword, Which, but he got oh, yeah, shot in those, the back. That sucks. And also, I don't know if you've seen those arrows. Ancient Chinese arrows <laughs> are meant to hurt you yeah. very badly. Um, I mean, the like arrow is almost as long as him. <sighs> those those were crazy. But what do you think about the game? Excited? It, it looks good. I'm interested. No. I've always loved those type of uh, Japanese samurai games. I mean, I tried playing Sekiro. So hard, so hard. But I love. Yeah, I, I d- love being. A no, yeah. I, like I want to. Like I love Ninja Gaiden. Like it, I mean, I've played all of them. Um, God, even Ninja like Ninja Gaiden Black was. Whew. Yeah. Um, I mean, I've played Sekiro. I've played Neo. I've played all these samurai games, and I mean, I like them. I like that world. I'm so used to the whole martial arts Japanese stuff. So this one really excites me. It, it looks so good. And we were watching a react, so we were kind of because I like having the added viewpoints from other people. Mm. Someone brought up, <clears throat> "How good do you think this game would be?" And I think that's important. Like, people say, "Is is this a God of War? A Horizon? A Days Gone? Mm. Right? Th- those are all varying yeah. qualities. Yep. God of War being a ten masterpiece, Horizon being more of your middle of the road eight nine area." Mm. 
and then Days Gone, personally for me, being around a six to seven mm. lower end because of certain aspects. Yeah. Where where in that frame do you think this game goes? I think this will probably because a lot of people are expecting it to be masterpiece, and I I mean I hope it I hope it, it is. It's I think it's I feel like it's gonna sucker round. punch. We haven't seen Sucker Punch since Infamous Second Son, I believe. Sp- uh, Spider Man. No, that was Insomnia. Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah, um, sorry. Sucker Punch is uh, people who made Infamous. Infamous, and got Infamous it. Infamous Second Son. And see, they did it Second Son, and I mean, I enjoyed Second Son, but I would, I would it give fun, it. But I, I would. Want it, I want Cole. I don't want this guy. I would give. I mean, I give. Uh, I, I if I would give it another thing, I would give it maybe a seven point five to an eight. I mean, because I. Yeah, Second Son. I actually oh, liked okay. it a lot. So. Okay. Um, but with this one, I think it, it'll probably run around an eight. I think it'll be horizon level of good. I don't think we're yeah. getting close to God of War because no. it just doesn't it's, look it, like it, 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 but it looks very fun. I just don't think we're hitting God of War like and know, acting. And so, quick thing. To get a 10, do you feel like you have to... Um... Not saying it has to be like a sequel or connect to anything or like have characters I, that you already understand. I completely see where you're going. Like with, with like for example, Breath of the Wild. Didn't mm-hmm. that get a ten? Yes. We understood Zelda. We understood mm-hmm. Link, Zelda, mm-hmm. Ganondorf. We already mm-hmm. know those characters. Mm-hmm. God of War. We know those characters. Mm-hmm. With and you're getting into biasy, my friend, and I think this is a very, very interesting topic. Yeah, we should cause, talk about one day. Yeah, because my thing is like, like, I, I, which game. That that's been a, like a brand new IP that's gotten a ten that I can't think of the top of my head. Bioshock, probably. The first one. Yeah. And I'm speaking not knowing if it was actually a ten, but to me yeah. that game's a ten, and that's a new IP not based on anything. Okay. Um, but to me that's a ten now. Speaking yeah. to that thing, most games that I say are tens and are generally sequels or at yeah. Least and see that's my thing because you connected to those stories and characters like with God of War. Oh. I'm going back through all the care, all the God of Wars in my head. Mm-hmm. I'm like, you know, he's a- a- with everything. So, and then, I mean, uh, I mean, even like uh, with Spider Man. Spider Man was such a good game, but I didn't give it a ten. So I don't know, like, what would, like, does it have? Well, it, in that sense, and I'm not saying you're wrong or right here, mm. but in that sense, wouldn't Spider Man have been easier to give it a ten because we have so many good memories with Spider Man? Complete hypothetical, of course. Uh, I see it. I get, and that's what I'm saying. It all depends because I feel like I connected more with, like, for example, with God of War. Me too. Because I knew the that I I knew, I knew the story so much. I right? like I I knew about them so much that I was like, it made me, f- like, feel more before it. I completely agree like, with so, what you're saying. Yeah, I, it's it's, I do, it's weird. I do think you can find yourself being in a bias. Um. I'll bring up a fun example of Lost. That's right. Oh, gosh. For you. Okay. Okay. Remember Lost, how good seasons, I think, was it? One through four are? Mm-hmm. And then there's a mighty dip from five to seven. I seven, believe, and right? then that last yeah. season was so good. Um, That's your opinion. Yeah. <laughs> My, I, I enjoyed the Reconnections episodes. So we like Lost. Yes. Most people do Don't. not like Lost. No, I, yeah. Now, the reason I do like Lost, though, is because I did come into a connection with the characters Mm -hmm. where some people maybe didn't i found my connection with the characters being so strong that yeah even though the episodes were crazy yeah i did still want to see what happened to them because i did care about the characters Mm -hmm. saeed for example oh god yeah such a great character i loved him and then i want to see what happens with him hurley of course i want to see what happens to him Jack and uh, Kate's relationships. Mm-hmm. Um, Sawyer is my favorite character in the show. I want to see mm-hmm. what happens to him. Before. God, even Charlie. So I'm just using that as an example I know, I know. Of, I know what you mean. of falling in love with characters. And even though the show is bad, mm. seeing light because you're still spending time with the characters exactly. that you like. So, like, that's the do thing. We like, get, are like, we what? biased with tens? Probably. I like do with, think yeah. there was a bias you walking into Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild for most people. Yeah. Because I'm going to be frankly. I do not think that game's a ten. I do not think that game is incredible masterpiece. And level. see, yeah, I, I wouldn't give it a ten. Fa- I think it's very, very, it's very, very good. good. Yeah, but there are too many things wrong with that game, in my opinion. I mean, and I would give it same a- thing with Super Mario Odyssey. Yeah, I can't believe people are having so much fun with the games with almost no story. And the, and I don't say story is king, 
but story for me has to play some sort of part into yeah. it. Yeah. And I love my favorite parts of Zelda when we're getting story about Zelda. Yeah. <laughs> and at no point are we getting that in the game. Yeah. I have to go find side missions mm-hmm. in the memories to get any of that. And I, and yep. me uh, personally, yeah, no. I'm honestly tired of all right, Link, go save Zelda. Why? It's Ganon. And you're like, okay, well, what else? Will you just go kill him? And it's like, well, uh, no, because like, I want a story. Mario. Yeah. I can't believe we got another Mario game. And the point was to save Peach. Peach from Bowser. Now, someone brought up a really good point with Pokemon. Mm-hmm. Is the target fan base man babies? <laughs> Probably not. <laughs> it's probably, honestly, for small children, right? 10 to 15-year-olds, yep. mid-tweens. So if we're not the target audience we're playing these anyways, is it our fault that we're judging them on a 30, 25-year-old, like, you know, brain where we're like, I want a mature thing. It's <laughs> like, all right, that's not what they are, though. Yeah. So I think we can talk in circles about no, no, yeah, this all course. day. And I'd but love to have it. Going back to Ghost thing. of Tsushima. Yeah, go, yeah it's... Back. it's, it's um, We'll see. I'm, I'm I'm hoping it's really really good. I don't think it's bad. I'm just I thought it was very interesting to bring up like how good is this game? And yeah. I'm like, so if I'm being completely honest, the trailers look awesome, but it's I've, like a eight, it's, nine yeah. game. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. I'm thinking more like an eight. His character design. Oh <sighs> yeah, no, I like amazing. Yeah, love it. That mask. Mask. He just pulls it off. Over, He's like can't sits there and then just mask. sticks it back on. Like it, like you can tell that it's a. Like there's kind of either that or like I don't know if he feels like it's a not a burden, but it's like something he has to carry with him. So it's like, I mean, which I know it's I, like I, a burden. You no, know no, what I mean? Of course, I yeah. Can. No, I, I've, uh, you're like he's like you're agree. like I have to do this. You felt almost maybe so, some not sort of so, sorrow yeah. where he had when he put it back on, like he almost doesn't want to do yeah. it. So maybe he regrets being alive, but he knows he has to do something. And that's know, all from it, just a trailer. And, so. And, Hey, shout out to mo capping because yeah. there was a lot of emotions going through him just taking mask looking at it and then putting it back on yeah. and then walking away it like i mean we don't even know where he got the mask it could have been from somebody he knew mm-hmm. something very excited. something very yeah. excited and then um he said i'm coming for him oh Who's yeah that? who who that, that gets mysteries now it's like this is very exciting yeah very exciting stuff um from there we move on to gears tactics which i've been waiting for since e3 of last year mm. um when they announced gears 5 and then the pop game <laughs> yeah still waiting for that no that's out. no that that's, that's out. Already no right. i'm just messing okay around. but it's out for the love of god it's out <laughs> um april 28th finally got a date yep. game pass game pass continuing to be the best value in gaming period yep. And then make, yeah. ten and then, dollars every month, and you get incredible games. We're getting Goose Game next week. Yeah, I was about to say Goose Game is next week. I mean, come on, keeps giving it to me. Yep. Um, I tweeted out that um, this is the best place for my indie gaming. Yep. Um, it does. I think, and this is a whole a whole episode unto itself. Again, we're hitting so many good topics mm-hmm. to talk about. <clears throat> this is an issue unto itself where. I don't want to buy indies because it. I feel like it comes to Game Pass, so maybe if it doesn't, you should, I you should wait. Yeah, it, yeah, I feel like I should. No, wait. No, I buy in a couple in the games that I'm like, it's already on Game Pass now. I'm like, ah, I should have waited. Yeah, and at the end of the day, like, should I feel bad because I'm giving the money and supporting the game, but also I'm doing the same thing on Game Pass? You know, and yeah, of yeah, course. Yeah. Again, talking circles all day about these things. Yeah, but um, very excited, very excited about all this. Gears Tactics looks awesome. Mm. Um, and then we get into another samurai game, which was interesting because now that we got Sekiro, it looks like we're like getting two more samurai games, which mm-hmm. is awesome. N- Naraka Blade Point, I oh believe yeah, was what that, it was yeah that that one. Yeah. Um, I, I don't know if it got a release date. I didn't catch one, but it looks. Uh, yeah, cool. I couldn't remember the name when you. There was Naraka. a kind of targeting system where you could um, shoot like a line, essentially in Sekiro, where you like shoot a line, you fly back or syndicate. Toward, yeah, you know, it'll Assassin's pull you. Street syndicate. Um, where you just land, you just pull across to something. Looks cool. Um, not too much about it. The trailer looked fun. You were just messing people up with swords and giant spears and things. Um, but that looks cool. Nine to five. Another game announced. Not much on it. Um, the developer announced uh, was describing it as society is ruled by corporations and mercenaries as a regular nine to five job. 
So a regular job of just being a mercenary. And that's really all we got. I'm curious to see what that is. I think you can go to 9to5.com to see more if you'd like. And then Black Desert Online Mobile got announced question mark i don't know if it was previously announced or previously out or if it's in beta now but what i think it? it um black desert online the mobile oh i got you i don't know if it was already out i don't know if it i think announced it was said... coming out. i Let missed see. things i think in that trailer um and i'm not sure what the point of that was the uh, naraka one it's not showing me a release date or release okay, though so probably not <clears throat> um but i'm pretty sure that was announced and then we get into new world 2020 this was a very that was interesting. weird zombie demon. They're using warriors of the past, like Roman soldiers, to fight samurai. Then they control the samurai to go fight this kingdom. And then this lady comes out powering them. Yeah. It looks very crazy. And it's an Amazon game. We are finally seeing something from Amazon. Yeah. They have been developing things, I think, for like 10 years now or something like that. I remember they announced they opened a game studio, and then we just have not heard anything from them from, I think, five, six, seven years. Uh, Black Desert is out now because I can download it right now. Okay, there we go. It's out now. Uh, so, again, I don't know if that was a paid ad spot. I, I was kind of confused on what they were yeah. announcing. Um, but New World looks cool. Again, 2020, not much to talk about. And then we talked about early convergence, which is the time one we brought up earlier. Mm-hmm. Um, looks cool. Another League of Legends game. Again, happy for them. And then we get a very weird trailer with Surgeon Simulator Two. Oh yeah, that wasn't that was a um, weird one. Very weird. It looks like they're trying to add story to the original Surgeon because if you don't remember Surgeon, that's the kind of wacky game where you are operating on someone and then you can like grab their intestines and throw them around and have fun with it was them. a little weird and i think they want to give a reason why, why? that's happening because mm. you're being these weird clones that mm. are broken and not meant to operate on people and it looks like they're putting people together because he put a head that, that was someone's head he put on them i think so so it looks like they're actually making people or something uh again strange yeah uh wolf among us 2 man re-announced as soon as it when I pulled out that window and I seen that the you can tell that the you know the telltale coloring. Yep. And of course Wolf Among Us is like more that has that pink and title. I the saw the pink and I'm like Yep. And I then I, I well I'm not gonna lie. I saw the the cigarette and I'm like, Oh, it's Big B. And I was like, I knew it. So excited. It's been a while since I played Wolf Among Us. I have to go back. We have that nice DC logo now instead of Vertigo. Yep. um, Because they, of course, made the original um, trade backs, I believe. Mm. Um, And then um, that's re-announced. It does say Telltale Games. Yep. Um, That is with a bunch of asterisks because a lot of people from Telltale has gone, but there are some people that are back. Um, I believe they're co- creating this with another studio because I don't believe, I don't believe there's that many Telltale games in life because they did lapse but then got out of it question mark it's a very confusing situation of course financially and for them so I don't know how many interviews they've done and discussing like what happened um but very 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 cool that this is coming back hopefully most of the original people got their jobs back and they're mm. working on this game very exciting um, and then I did see a leak for the Batman Telltale Collection, Alex. Mm. Um, <clears throat> and it came from the same leak of Wolf Among Us 2, so I'm assuming we're getting a Batman collection soon. Maybe on Switch. Maybe that will be on a Nintendo Direct somewhere or something like that. But that would be cool. We'll just get the two collections <clears throat> maybe in, with an announcement of the next season coming. Um, and then just a refresher, um, the studio who acquired the rest of Telltale mm-hmm. retained the rights to Batman and Wolf Among Us. I do not. Um, I think. Oh, and also Game of Thrones. I believe. Oh, so yeah, they have that'd be three cool. licenses. I think they still, they'll never go back to Game of Thrones. I don't think. You don't but think so? No, and also, do they need to? Yeah, uh, I guess. It's, I, I'll take. I'll take a Batman one Among Us. Oh, yeah, over yeah, no, of Game of Thrones. Yeah. Um, my found it just says that it, they were coming back on their new ownership, and it's by. Uh, it says the the new Telltale Games will be helmed by Jamie. Audley and Brian Waddle, the two industry veterans with experience primarily in mobile gaming and technology side. So two people from originally from Telltale came back and said we're keeping this pretty much, I guess. Wow. Yeah. That's so it's still cool. tell. So it's still Telltale. No, but it's I just mean, by um, new ownership. Yeah, but like, like we shouldn't just pretend because that will confuse people. Yeah. So I, I, I wish they would rename it. 
I guess. But yeah, I, I see what you mean. But they want to keep the branding, so I get it. It was purchased by uh, LCG Entertainment. Okay. Cool. Yeah. So, but it says just. And a, also, it's is it not a dirty name now? What do you mean, Toto? Yeah. Do you think so? I mean, as long as they they keep they if, keep they keep the games pure. <laughs> I mean, I'm just saying a dirty name, as in like, they went under. Yeah. In a day, to us at least. Yeah. Of course, not to them. In the back end, they knew how much yeah. money they were losing, but. I don't know. I, I will, honestly, I would say that's a tainted name ruined by the head of that company because they have that dude ruined a lot of people's lives and jobs. Mm. Um, so I would have changed the name, but no, of course that's just me. It's le- legally that's a lot of money as well. So yeah. Um, moving on, though, very excited. Um, I've always wanted a continuation of Bigby Wolf. So, and I love yep. that world. That is such a cool. Oh world. yes, and I, like, I need to know if we get together with Snow White because I want us yeah, to have babies and a happy family. <laughs> it's been so long. I have to go back and play those. Uh, episodes. Do you remember your last decision? Did you go after her or did you not? I don't remember. Oh well, okay. I went after. It's her. been it's been a couple years since I played that game. I'll replay it, um, and we'll do a podcast about it. About yeah, that. Um, yeah, when it's... it gets closer. Um, and then we get Holder Scrolls Online announcing that it's on sale. I think. Yeah, it? it was uh, elsewhere is on sale. And then um, January twenty third is when we're getting a reveal on Skyrim. Yep, we're going back to Skyrim, yep. the dark heart of mm-hmm. Skyrim. Very cool. Yep, always. Well, that's exciting. And then we get Michelle Rodriguez on the stage. <laughs> Already question marks hitting your head when you hear that name. You're like, okay, yep. she's from Past to Furious and Lost. Yep. So I wonder what she's doing here. She comes out. And says, "Oh, I'm here to announce, you know, some stuff." They announce, yeah, and then yeah. all right, um, to present game of the year, Vin Diesel. Uh, and then I'm like, <laughs> "Okay." Yep. And I was like, "Oh, that that is it. We're gonna see the uh, the clip of the movie." Because that's rumored, not rumored. Vin said that it was coming out this week at some yeah. point, or <laughs> he well, it was he, a very weird. He said way he was like, he "I said, actually I, yesterday I've so actually seen before that." Yeah, he tweeted out or Instagrammed. He watched the trailer mm-hmm. and announced that sometime this week he will announce when the trailer goes well, yeah. out. Which so, is a weird way of announcing something. No, yeah, yeah. This isn't an announcement of an announcement no, of yeah. me announcing something. It's yeah. like, he was pretty right, much how saying, many times, like, hey, how many I've announcements seen the trailer? do you need? I would let you guys know. But on stage, I... he, go, he goes, he's like, hey, oh, no, yeah, I yeah, saw it's a trailer weird. for Fast 9. It's four minutes. It's like, okay. I was like, whoa. I was like, okay, who cares? Um, and then we get a very, very, very average-looking game in Fast and the Furious Crossroads released. 360-looking. It looks like a 360 game. I don't know if you're hype about it. I looked at that and was like, this looks like something I'm going to make fun of. <laughs> yeah, I just I, I don't see the point of it because, I mean, I do. Uh, I know they're coming out with the Netflix show, the Fast and the Furious show. The animated show, yeah. The animated show. And I'm down for that. I'll check it out. The models look so bad. But, yeah, the game, because mm, even the, the first one, the showdown, no. No, those aren't good games. Uh, this one, what I thought. What was good? The mm. best Fast and the Furious game? Fast and the Furious, or, sorry, Forza Horizon presents Fast and the Furious. Oh, yeah, of total. Yeah, it's 100%. Best f- best fucking thing yeah um, and it actually tied into the movie really well it didn't yeah. it showed you how they got the cars into the plane yeah it was supposed <laughs> which to which yeah it was awesome. supposed to, it's a, for fury 7 mm-hmm. yeah it was really cool yeah um uh i'm gonna be honest so this is when the show ends they announce game of the year game of the year goes to okay, hold on. sakura shadow ties twice Shocking literally everybody. Why? I don't. I don't. Under, I don't. I mean, I don't. Be honest, I don't. Mean, I didn't have a stake in any game of the year, so I'll be honest. I didn't I really just, care who won. I guess yeah. If I had to give it to it though, I was gonna who? Okay, control probably. Yeah, I was gonna give. I was that for like, me. Give it to control because what? It was Smash, Control, Death, Death Stranding, Stranding, Sekiro. If the gameplay was better on Death Stranding, I'd give it to that one. <sighs> the story is good. Like I like the story. Resident but, Evil 2 was yellow. Ah, thank you. But I was goodness. leaning towards Resident Evil 2, but I just like control weird and yeah, cool no. story better. Yeah. So I liked that a lot. Um, 
But yeah, I, I again, I didn't have a stake, so when it was announced, I was like, oh, that's cool, and then immediately was like, whatever. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so I'll be waiting um, for next year because next year is stacked. We'll have a There's episode. A lot. We're gonna yeah, we're gonna have an episode where we do our 2019 in review. We review our 2019 games of the years, and then you know schedule out like you know what are gaming moments mm-hmm. we had this year that we had fun, and then we will look on to next year so hopefully, very soon hopefully uh, this time next year we can have a live action or like a live uh like video thing to oh so they can see our beautiful faces yeah yeah i'm sure we can get something like that set up again patreon.com to help us with that because yeah. we just need a camera so like what i don't know how much cameras cost yeah so just whatever give us money camera <laughs> well that and whatever helps us record and if <laughs> each person who listened to the show gave us one dollar we could buy the camera tomorrow yeah. i'll tell you that right now Anyways, let's go into uh, our review of the video games 2019. Alex, what did you think? Alex, sorry, hold on. Alex, mm. I've got one question. Uh, what did you think of the video game wars of 2019? They're fine. Other than the Xbox thing. So I'm more of fantastic, I think, um, than fine. Maybe great I, I think area. I think we peaked th- early. It's, and it's hard to there's s- no way they could not have had that at not it, at the beginning it uh i feel like xbox said you are this is at the beginning we yeah. do not go last we don't go middle we go no. in the beginning now see the first half awesome that ending half is yeah it's fine we ended weak yeah that's my thing it's it, that's why we, i'll give it, it a ended great so weak that i'm almost like did someone back out we have a Batman game that we know exists now. It's mm. not even a rumor. We just know it exists because they just told us. Yeah. That, hey, this is real. That, that one logos. from the Out of the Court of Owls. Mm-hmm. It's going to be yeah. made by the people, uh, W.B. Montreal, who made Arkham Origins. Yeah. So we know there's a Batman game. Did they back out? Is they there probably some had nothing. Of, there's just something wrong with them. Yeah. If this was planned, Jeff Keighley is the master of hype and editing. I just can't. Imagine him thinking, I'm going to end with Fast and the Furious Crossroads and him seeing that trailer and going, yeah, this deserves to end the show. Now I'm wondering who paid who. <laughs> if Vin Diesel was like, hey, I want to be on the Game Awards <laughs> no, to show he, off Vin game. Diesel would, does not come anywhere without getting paid. I know. Of that means get, literally I mean, of and figuratively, <laughs> if you get what I'm saying. Mm-hmm. Um. Uh, but yeah, they definitely paid them to come up. I don't know yeah. why he wanted Fast and the Furious people in here. Maybe that gets more mainstream people to watch. Yeah, I don't know. But to be honest, I wouldn't. I would have been fine with us ending with Wolf Among Us two, Ghost of Tsushima trailer. Yeah. Than this. My thing is, um, this is the Game Awards. I don't even care for the awards. See, I'm in the opposite because I like that we kind of celebrate this I mean, thing that we I, think I, is cool. I do and don't because I, they've created to where, oh, here's the award. Now here's the trailers. Like they make the trailers more hyped I than the actual award. I completely agree with that. Now, so it's making me feel like does the awards don't matter? Like you're, they're like blow. I feel like they're blowing off the awards to so get to these reviews. There are too many awards that are just. Yeah, just glossed over. Yeah, there are some like best performance that they had to gloss over mm. because Mad they would have that would have been a much bigger deal yeah. if Mad Mickelson was not nominated and won that category. Yeah, Mad Mickelson, I bet was not even a thousand miles <laughs> from the Game Awards. So I think they were like, Mads is not here. Yeah. He's not going to get the reward. It's going to get wasted time. We're switching that to just a. Call out, you say, yeah. hey, he won, and then we move on. Too many of that, in my opinion. Yeah. We rapid-fired three or four awards, and I and I understand the eSports stuff. We we don't need someone who owns the arena of the Overwatch League coming out. We don't need the Overwatch teams coming yeah. out. Content creator, we should see. Yeah. Um, uh, but that's I'm, probably why they were so, the VGAs used to be so long. Well, it did used to be three hours. So we do have to hit a point where it's like, okay, it has to be at least an hour yeah, and cause, a half. Well, because right? this one was two, uh, two hour, a little over two and a half hours. Two and a half hours because yeah. of the pre-show. Yeah. Um, so, like, at some point it has to be it has to be at least an hour and a half, I assume, mm-hmm. to two hours. 
this thing used to be like four hours. I remember when it used to oh, be. Oh, yeah. It was four hours one year, and I was like, oh, this is way too long, yeah. and we are like sitting on things we should not be sitting I'm on. I'm not going to lie. I remember one time we were watching the VGAs. I can't remember what year it was. I feel like it was for uh, four is a five? They, whichever one. They they brought the car out and on the stage. I remember that. Yeah, I've you remember that? Like twice. I feel like that was Forza 5 or Forza Horizon 1. I don't know. I just can't remember. But that, I thought that was... I remember that year. That one was long. So, I think the pacing is off. Now, the pacing is off because there was a fucking Xbox announced at the beginning. That, yeah. So, there's only so much pacing you get from that. Like, how do you... You can't... You can't match that. And they did it so quick, too. He Like, he came out real quick, announced it. All right, goodbye. I'm like, uh, you're just going to leave me with that? I'm of two minds of this. Because I did read a tweet earlier that said, mm-hmm. why would they announce the, a system that was only spent four minutes on? There must be some strategy that we do not understand behind this. Mm-hmm. I do think it... Do you think... And I was like... Do you, do you okay. think this was a good idea for them? I feel like yes, because it was just out of the blue. And now everybody's going to be talking about this for the next couple of months. Because that's all they've heard. They're like, all we saw was this. What else are we going to see? What else are we going to do? Like, And then that's when, so everybody's getting hyped up. They'll be like, oh, when are we going to see it the next time? Is it going to be this? Is it going to be that? I wonder why you would show off your system before you have any information of pre-order and pricing. Because wouldn't you want to show the system and then be like, okay, pre-orders are here because you're getting the most people interested? Because you're going to get Excitement. a lot of people walking into a GameStop and saying, hey, I want to pre-order the Series X. And then they're going to say... They're just showing off the system. We we don't have any yeah. and, allocated and, 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 units yet. Honestly, maybe that's what they want. They just want people to keep coming back. Be like, is it ready? Is it ready? I guess that's a good point. I mean, I guess they don't care how many times they actually go back and do yeah. it as long as they keep asking, right? Yeah. Um. But yeah, I at the end of the day, I think it was a good decision. We won't get we won't get release and price or not release. I'm sorry. We won't get price till E3. I think we'll get price March. What's in March? Uh, and it just when anything? the price is announced. Oh, okay. <laughs> no, there's gonna be an event. Okay, that's what I'm saying. Is there an event? event. Because they be... can't just take. They're not just gonna say it out of nowhere. No, no, no. I'm saying there's gonna be a press event. There's gonna be oh, a okay, press so. event. We're not gonna know until like the day of or the day before. Yeah. And they're gonna be like, hey, there's an Xbox thing. They already have press there, and then they yeah tell you everything about the system. PS5 is gonna be announced probably in February. Mm. Um, it's going to be same thing pricing all that it's going to be shown off and then probably information on either pre-ordering or they'll have more information in a few months mm. <sighs> it's exciting times Alex exciting times um, now this system is, is this, small it, it must be jam it's a new style it must be jam packed yeah. with just everything um, what is what is this VGA rank for you is this the best one is this one of, um, one of weaker ones what no i think it's one of it, i think it's one of the better ones for sure i think it's pretty incredible that because they literally could have shown the xbox and mm-hmm. then the entire rest of the vgas could have just been a loud fart and i would have been like this is the best vgas <laughs> <laughs> because we got xbox stuff yeah it was just um, i've never would have expected a whole console reveal at the vga you, the you know Awards. when phil said that they wanted to do that he went what okay <laughs> he probably like had to pick his jaw up off the floor because he was yeah. like I, okay this sounds awesome yeah um, and literally not even what was it like not even just a couple days ago he said that he had took his uh scarlet home scarlet home yeah, yeah. so cool so yeah. cool but um this this is my favorite one probably ever um pacing of course was off but that's because they announced the system so i i can only blame them so much because again we had like a whole system revealed at the beginning um games looked great um i'm be honest i don't i haven't walked away with one game that i'm like that's mine for like the next like that's what i'll be thinking about the next year yeah um which is a little disappointing if i'm being honest but i am excited for hellblade mm-hmm. i am excited for those league of legends game that look really yeah. cool um and i am excited for um what was the other game I, I liked, Alex? Do you remember? Uh, uh, I'm, I'm bringing it up. Uh, Godfall. Yep. That looks cool. Um, Ori. 
like I'm, I am walking with games I like Ghost of Tsushima. Like, like yeah. I like these games. But Get the ones you're in, you're just that's all you're waiting for, yeah. But I was I didn't come with like, like oh that's the game yeah. I'm crazy. Like if they right if, now. if they would have announced just like or said something about uh like for example Dragon Age, or uh, I knew an, we weren't getting Mass anything like that. Halo. Oh. Then I would someone like, yep. announced or not not announced but speculated the Mass Effect collection. Is it like for what, this yeah. one? And I would have been like, that would that is such an easy win. And mm-hmm. I was like, please for the love of God, yep. and they didn't announce it. it. And nope, didn't happen. But that's okay. Yeah. Any ending thoughts for the audience? Uh, it was. I mean, it was great. It was yeah, good. Go check Shout out all out those trailers Keighley. and stuff. Yeah. Um, you that know, was great. So the last couple years, none of this, none of this would have been possible without that man. And, yeah. No. Yeah. It's and so great. his passion behind this stuff, and I'm so glad for that. Yeah. I love these things. I look forward. To it. I've been watching this since I was a kid. Yeah, I think that was. But these these are like eight years old, right? At least. Uh, well, they remember they got rebranded technically. I know it was Spike uh, TV and all that stuff. And yeah, I think Jeff Keighley picked it up when Spike dropped yeah. it. Uh, Game Awards. Game Awards. I think started about five, six years, maybe maybe seven years ago. Mm-hmm. So it's been a while. Yeah, it's been yeah. a while. All right, guys, that is your Easy Achievers 2019 video game. Awards reacts review discussion. If you like that, again, head over to your favorite podcast service, your favorite YouTube service. Give us a like, give us a five star rating, give us the subscribe. Don't forget, grab that mouse, hover it over bottom left corner. There you go, click subscribe. You are now subscribed to the Easy Achievers. Thank you so much. If you like us even more, please head over to patreon.com slash Easy Achievers. Give us the buck, gives us. Yeah, it gives you a monthly exclusive every month. We still need to record that one for this month, actually. Mm-hmm. Um, and then it uh, five bucks gets you everything early. We always post first on Patreon and then later on on everything else. Thank you guys so much for listening. Appreciate it, guys. Y'all have a good one.